What's going on, y'all? This is Q Ortiz, your local San Diego massage therapist, musician, and artist. And today, I wanted to get into the topic of music production. And more specifically, when you self-produce your music. It's very challenging because when you're getting into producing your own music, you are the entire operation. When you look at different artists, they may have a producer, someone who's making the beat, right? Someone who has the vision for the song. They have the engineers, they have the musicians, and if you're producing the music specifically by yourself, those are the hats that you play. Those are the hats that you wear. You are the composer, the musician, the producer, you're the songwriter, you're the singer or rapper, whatever you do vocally, if there's vocals. If not, then you, you're you doing the instrumentation and then mixing it, mastering it. If you're doing your own publishing, you're uploading it to distribution, you're putting your music out there, depending on how hands-on you are with the cover art for the single or for the album, that's another factor. If you have friends or you hire someone for the art, then all good. Even with the musicians, if, if that's what you do, I'm... So far, my first album was with a producer. So I was able to have sort of co-production on the majority of the songs where I'm saying, okay, well, this is kind of the rhythm. This is the, these are the lyrics. This is the feel. And then the producer was able to get what I was saying and translate that into the music. So then the lyrics and the music were able to marry. And that's what you want. If you're looking for a producer, that's, that's what you want. You want the music to match the world that you're trying to create. After that experience, I did self-produce QVC, Q's Vibe Collection. You could check that out. And got deeper into the experience because I experienced working with a producer. I could get more of an example of how to make it work. How can you create from nothing? Then after QVC, I did several singles. Later on, the most recent project is Q's Real Deal Salad. And in between there, I was also producing one of the bands I was in. I was producing that album. So I was gaining more skills on the whole process recording mixing mastering more so mixing and recording and production then i was in another band where they were going to the studio so i got these different experiences with more do-it-yourself grassroots than being in the studio having an actual engineer touching your tracks and enhancing the sound I do I do feel like there's a balance 
especially with self self producing your music if you are able to create the music create the lyrics everything recording either you mix it because when you mixing you're also gaining a skill and when you listen to other music you can also get a feel for where they put certain sounds and gain more of that knowledge of how you can do that for your music if that's what you want to do one thing i find that is uncomparable is when you produce yourself and when you record your own music and it's your expression i know a lot of rappers in this modern time speak about ghost writing <laughs> where <laughs> it's not acceptable where i've heard people say they'd rather have it where it's a rapper saying whack lyrics but they're there what they're it's their whack lyrics they'd rather hear that the whack lyrics coming straight from the artist than some popping lyrics from somebody else who wrote them for that rapper and i have a I have a slight agreement with that because and it's funny I've I've been on both sides so I can see like working with the producer if they're like basically the goal is to have the song the best that it can be is to have the song leveled up and they're a part of that process so if they're like oh what about this line? What do you think about that? And they, they'll they help you reflect on, on the line if it needs to be changed. And you're looking at the effect objectively. You're looking at the song to to chisel it out and, and make it the best. But I found if I was to rap, even even that one line, it doesn't feel like it's coming from me and I don't know if that's sort of ego but it's just something I feel and when I've worked on music where it's just me creating it and there's not this outer voice it's just pure it's what i'm saying and that's what drove me more to just working on my own music and also when you work on your own music it's your pure expression the whole process you have your microphone you're able to be intimate in whatever space depending on where you're at if you're in the studio recording yourself or if you have other people but there's something about just being with yourself and being with the music that's coming out that you made and it's your vibe and you're just vibing with you <laughs> It's just a vibe. It's your vibe. First, you create in the musical vibe and then the words. And it's just, it's you. So that's one thing that I feel like you need to get into. If you're creating music, just create your vibe. How are you vibing off of yourself? And that doesn't take away from working with others as well you can do all of it you can create your own pieces create your own demos examples 
for say if you're wanting to play in a band you can create compositions and have it where you give ideas for the other musicians if you don't want to have it where they're playing exactly what you composed but you come with the idea and the feel and allow for them to interpret that energy and put that out for people as well you can do that you can record yourself produce yourself and then have others mix it have others engineer it so that they can be objective to your song where you're not so attached to it and you can focus on the aspect of creating the music and performing the music and allow for others who say more of their specialty is engineering it or mixing it and you leave that up to them because that takes time it all takes time but mixing and mastering is a whole nother mind frame mindset and skill set so if you're ready for that challenge then go for it i recommend it because then you're increasing your skills with the mixing with mastering and who knows maybe because you've touched in with that practice you can use that as a career for yourself you can mix and master other people's music because you know other people are wanting to get their music mixed and mastered so if you're able to really increase your skill at that that can be a career path for you all right so my message with here with this video is to touch in on on self production see what you can do with recording because then you're learning about recording whether it's your voice recording instruments multiple instruments now you're playing multiple instruments so you're just deepening your engagement with the music and that was my initial intention that's how i even found myself deeper into the actual production realm because the intention was to connect deeper with the music and how else can you connect deeper with the music than to be a part of the entire process and touch in with multiple instruments to get a feel for that mindset of each instrument how do they fill the space that's what you learn when you're playing the keys and then playing guitar and feeling the effect of more percussion or the drum pad or the bass you get to feel more of what these instruments are doing than when you're composing or say when you're accompanying others you have more of that feel as well so i'd say it's an invaluable experience to produce your own music and and get into that realm and again you can do that along with working with other people you can work on beats doing vocals over someone else's beat as well and then in your own personal space touch in with the practice of producing yourself all right well i appreciate you being here if you like this video click like if you have any questions or thoughts about what I'm talking about here, drop a comment below. And if you want to continue on this journey with me, click subscribe and we can vibe. Peace out.